The Austin mayor says the city is spending too much of your money on studies and surveys. Today, he voted against a one and a half million dollar Austin Energy study on customer service. We did some digging into exactly how much the city is spending and where the money goes. John Moore is a longtime Austin Energy customer. Just ask him how he feels about their customer service. He'll tell you. Oh, I've been happy with it. I mean, I, I don't have any complaints about it. I would say I'm neutral. <laughs> it's really as simple as that. But today, the Austin City Council approved hiring a marketing company to survey Austin Energy customers about their needs, concerns, and opinions. Price tagged to taxpayers, $1.5 million. On a pretty consistent basis, the council approves these without asking too many questions. No more, says Mayor Lee Leffingwell, who does not support spending the money on this study and voted not to approve it. And I'm just very concerned about, uh, we've spent a lot of money on consultants this year, one thing and another. The mayor estimates the council has approved five to $10 million for studies and consultants this year alone. He cites the city's comprehensive plan, the downtown plan, the airport corridor study, the Riverside corridor study, and the $1 million urban rail study, just to name a few. So it is a lot of money when you add it up. Somebody said, uh, you know, a million here, a million there, pretty soon you're talking big money. Austin's known for studying issues, uh, perhaps to death, so uh, I'd say maybe one less study is not uh, uh, going to be a fatal blow. But soon, John Moore could be getting the call from an outside marketing company asking about his satisfaction with his Austin Energy service. Anything they could do better? Uh, well, things could always be cheaper, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Now, sometimes city staff does their own studies, the internal bond survey, for example, and budget surveys this year. But they say some projects require outside consultants because of the number of man hours they'll require along with the level of expertise that's needed. And speaking